What is up everybody? We are back and I want to do an episode today about ERP during this coronavirus outbreak. And I know for me, um, contamination is a big part of my OCD and currently it's the theme that my OCD is playing on the most recently. Um, it started before the coronavirus, but of course with the virus going on, it's progressed a little bit. I seem to be doing okay, but the thing that really bothered me the most was I started feeling like, man, I've done all this work on ERP, all these exposures, and now with everything going on and the CDC guidelines, I'm really not going to be able to, to work on my um, contamination OCD, and it's going to really you know, put a stop to a lot of my treatment process and, and a lot of the progress that I've been making. And that's just not true. Right now, we have to listen to the guidelines of the CDC. And if you follow the um, IOCDF Foundation, you know, they're recommending using the guidelines as exposures and doing just what they're saying, nothing more. So that's one step. But for me, I have multiple themes of OCD. So what kind of clicked for me was what I can do now is work on some of my other themes that maybe they're not bothering me as much, but you can work on things like like your magic thinking and rumination. If you can um, work on that, work on your intrusive thoughts we've talked about, um, checking rituals, because at this time, when you're not going to be really focusing too much on your contamination OCD exposures per se, you can really work on the other aspects of OCD. And what will happen, or at least what happens for me is, when I get better with a certain theme, or let's just use magic thinking and rumination, if I am working on that and I'm getting strong in my therapy for that, it's going to carry over whenever I have a contamination OCD spike. So doing the work now in the other areas of your OCD and ERP therapy that you can do and you can elaborate in and, and do all the steps of treatment, it's really the time now to focus on that because that's going to carry over into your other themes of OCD. You know, like I've said before, this my videos are not therapy. They're just my life experience with a little bit of education and a long time dealing with OCD. And for me... Whenever I'm working on, you know, my anxiety or any theme of OCD, it'll, it'll carry into the rest of my life. So I just kind of wanted to, to talk a little bit about that because I, I can only imagine how difficult um, ERP is right now for people and people's kind of their hope for, for the progression of their treatment. You know, for me, I felt, I felt really bummed about it because I've been making so much progress and now it's all going to be halted for who knows how long but that's just not the case so right now is not the time to you know lay down your sword and shield and say you know what OCD wins no way right now is the time to, to work on all the things that that are affecting your OCD all the themes that spike your anxiety and really gain control of the things that you can control right now um, which of course control is not the objective but what I mean is to um, gain a good grasp on on the rest of your OCD treatment so that that can follow into um, your ERP for contamination so I hope that that made sense I hope that that kind of helps you as you start to feel like man maybe my my ERP and my OCD treatment is uh, is not going to progress through this time but I assure you if you do the work that um, you've started with your therapist or that you've been working on, if you continue to do the work that you can do, it'll follow into the other areas of your OCD treatment. So for now, that's it today. Um, I'm just going to be hanging out at the house the rest of the day. I'll upload some more videos. I, I appreciate everybody's support. Like always, like this video so other people with OCD can find it and always subscribe. Thanks.